What's good, family? Welcome back to the Like a Diaries episode two. As you can tell from the title of this video, we're going to be shooting with Cinestill black and white 35 millimeters. So we're going to be shooting at a few of my favorite spots out here. With our first location, we're going to be going to the Kimball Art Museum. This is probably one of my favorite places to shoot in Fort Worth just because the architecture is beautiful. It's just one of those places where you can just shoot around and not have to really worry about anything or anybody. And it looks like nobody is here right now, so that may be the ideal situation for us. It looks like the sun might peak out here a little bit, which I'm totally fine with. In regard to shooting the Cinestill black and white, I am metering it at 200, and I will show you I've set my meter to 200 here. Let's go ahead and check out what Kimball has to offer. Okay, so for this first photo, I really like how the trees kind of frame this area here. I'm gonna be shooting at 125th of a second at f5.6 just because of the shade here. It's a nice line of trees. Kind of want to get a picture of this pond they got over here from an angle. So this is gonna be at F11 at 250th. And I might grab a photo up here of these structures. Let's do 500, there's the sun. I apologize if this frame is overexposed now, but yeah, that was F11 at 500th of a second. I kind of want to get the top of this building here as well. And this is 250th, but I'm going to push, actually, I'm going to do F16 at 500th. Because the sun is trying to come through. Okay. So I kind of want to get a nice establishing shot of the outside of the Kimball Art Museum here. This is kind of like the classic shot. You have the waterfall here in the front and then the rest of the structure here from an angle. Definitely we'll have to stop to F8, I'm assuming. Yep. So it looks like we're reading at F8 for 500th of a second. So I want to grab a photo of this building here. I'm not really sure what this building is, but it looks fairly significant. And I'm guessing I'm going to have to be around F16 for this as the sun starts to come through. Yep. So it'll be F16 at 250th of a second. Got it. Really love the look of this building here. It's like it disconnected from the rest of the museum. And let's see what we'll do for this one. This looks like around F8 at 500th, right down the middle. And then I do want to go right here in the center of these trees because there's this nice arch structure here, decent ways away. And this one will be at F11 at 250th of a second. And I kind of want to do the same thing over here. I kind of like this tree in the center a little bit more. Same thing will be F11 at 250th of a second. As we get to the middle of the roll, I wanted to quickly talk about that last photo. That last photo was probably one of my favorites from the entire roll, just because how beautifully rich the shadows are in the tree lines. And this was something that was kind of a common theme throughout the photos when I got the scans back. Overall, I just think the pictures were very balanced, just a ton of dynamic range in the pictures. Uh, with this black and white film. After that photo, I pretty much wrapped it at Kimball and sent it to the second location. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you at the end. All right, so we made it here to our second destination. As you can see in the background, we found the building we are looking for. It's this big, beautiful one right here. 
I want to grab a picture of this real quick. So let's get the one that we came here for. We got F11 for 500th of a second. All right, so I think these are lockers. It looks like it was an old shipping container that was like fashioned into lockers. And this little area of pavement looks like it used to be like some sort of basketball court or multiple basketball courts. But I think this is a pretty cool looking subject here. So I'll have to drop this to 125th at F11. To kind of show you why I thought this was like an old basketball court area, is I have some rundown bleachers right here. So let's see if I can grab a photo of this as well. Let's do F11 at 250 maybe. Yep. Get the apartments in the background. Let's see if we can go further down towards the riverbed here. All right, so there's this little patch of concrete here. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down, get a little bit closer to our intended target for today. This is kind of a more majestic angle of the building as well, looking up towards it. And I think I'm gonna do F16 here at 250th. And I'll do a vertical one as well. I like this tree a lot. I might reposition myself for this tree. So here's a better angle of the tree, just kind of straight on. And I probably will have to go F8. Do F8 at 500th of a second. I kind of want to get closer to the water here as well. I want to grab a photo of the 7th Street Bridge here because I just love this perspective from this side. I don't think I've ever seen it from this side actually. There's the beautiful ripples in the river right now. And that was at F8 at 500th of a second. And I'd love to get a picture of this Panther Island Pavilion sign right here. F8, 500th of a second. And now you want to move because I'm trying to get you focus. This always happens. I'll have to take a seat here. I'm gonna do that 125th at about F16. Right there. Don't move. I like this right here as well. Same thing, 125th at F16. So I think I'm gonna finish off this roll with a couple of more landscape shots of the skyline of Fort Worth from this angle and call it a day. Let's finish out the rest of this roll. Let's get one of this scene we stumbled upon earlier, a little wider. This gentleman right here, this dog. Looks like we got a biker coming through. Let's see if I can grab him. That would be clutch for the final shot. Can I make the decisive moment here? I think I got him. I think I got him. All right. All right, let's go back to the car and we'll regroup there. All right, so we are back in the car here. Just finished the roll of the Sinistel black and white film. I was a big fan of the compositions that I was able to get today. Really enjoyed uh, Kimball Art Museum. Didn't have as much to shoot there as I thought I would initially, but thankfully coming here to the Trinity Park area, I was able to get more than I thought I would get. Uh, thankfully, there is quite a few people here, so I could add them into the compositions as well. But yes, it looks good. Completely full. 
It's a pretty looking film canister. So I'll give Cinestill that. We shall see the results soon though. Whenever it comes to shooting black and white, it is always something that is a challenge for me in particular. Um, it's interesting because it forces you into focusing less on obviously the, the vibrancy of a photo and more of composition, layers, subject, because that's really all you have. You don't have colors to catch your eye uh, and bring you into a photograph and make it interesting. And I don't use black and white too often. I mean, I've used the Tri-X 400, I've used HP 5 400, and I've had decent results with those film stocks. And with that being said, looking at the results of the Cinestill black and white, I just was really blown away by the dynamic range and the balance of the film. The shadows came out so beautiful. The highlights retained so much detail. With those things being said, I think this is kind of my new favorite black and white film. I'm definitely gonna be using Cinestill black and white in my rotation of shooting, uh, specifically with portraits. In fact, that's where I'm very interested to seeing the results uh, of this film is with portraiture and seeing how it renders in that situation. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching episode two of The Like a Diaries. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of The Like a Diaries uh, and other videos that are to come. But until then, I hope you guys stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.